Hi, Tony from Farmore Coy. Well, yesterday I had a lovely time at uh, Dave's Rocket Boys uh, with Dave and Vince. And Lynn looked after us as well, that was lovely. And um, anyway, I've done quite a lot of video, but uh, I'm afraid it was rejected because of Vince's music, copyright issues. So I've got to go through it all again, re-edit it and strip out quite a lot of it. A lot of it's gonna end up on the editing room floor or I've got to delete the audio and just overdub it but anyway i'll get around to that what i'm gonna do today anyway is get on with a bit of my own uh, stuff um because i haven't uh, done any more on it for a few days so i'll turn you around and show you what i'm gonna do Turn the pump off to boil it up. I don't know how you can see that with the sun. Yeah, and then it to boil it up. I'm getting I think that's pretty good. Well, I'm uh, slowly getting there. I think I showed you that before. I've still got to insulate that and all that. But um, I've got the uplift filter all insulated I haven't taken the waste from the top yet but that's the flow insulated down there past the valve and into the inlet of the air source heat pump so trying to keep pipe lengths as short as possible really so um, yeah you can get in there and uh, got to do the return next. So, I'll get back to you. In a moment, I've lifted that up off the ground by three blocks flat. I'm going to put gravel, I think, all round underneath. Um, and in that section of the garden, I'm going to gravel it all so that um, if it pours down with rain, it doesn't splash the, um, the mud, doesn't splash the air source heat pump. So yeah, it's good, get in there, slowly. Well, this is uh, how far I've got with it. Not as much as it was, but uh, I've got the flow and return, all the cold and the hot. On there, and I've got the return going back along there and under the uh, shower, and then it goes down into the pond about mid water, and it's got a bend to return it in the direction of the flow of the pond. So I should hopefully. Yeah, to fire it up soon. I've got to change this electrical con connector here, and uh, I'm going to have to run a 16 amp lead for now, and uh, then I'll be able to fire it up. 
so I'll get back to you on the next bit. Wow, we're uh, up and running. The uh, water's flowing. The only thing I've got to do now is finish off the uh, in bits and pieces of insulation and I've got to run a waste pipe from that one just down into the garden really so uh, yeah so according to this oh, it flickers on the phone oh, that's a shame but according to this the uh, temperature going through it at the moment is 10 degrees and I've set it to, I've set it to the to, to heating which is that middle little light uh, I've set the timer off uh, but it's uh, target temperature at the moment I've set to 15 so it take quite a while for that to happen I think uh, I've, I've no idea how quick these things work but I think it's a slow slow process but once you've got there it just ticks it over but, uh, Anyway, then it's set to 15. And then, uh, then I take it from there. But yeah, I'm pleased. All done. So um, for those of you who may ask what um, air source heat pump I fitted, there you go. Mountfield Azuro swimming pool heat pump model heat pump 08.5 kilowatt and uh, type I don't have to read that out but you can see it there anyway that is the one I fitted good Let's see how it goes so here's the fish today say so the pond temperature according to uh, the air source heat pump is 10. Uh, my ink bird was recording it um, earlier this morning at nine and a half, so that's probably about it. Yeah, they're doing all right. You're living in luxury now. It'd be nice to keep a nice steady temperature through the summer. And not let it go too low in the winter. Just got to um, keep an eye on what the, the costs are going to be. The pond is already costing according to um, one of them plug things that tells you if you put your electricity rate in it. It tells you how much your pond is gobbling up and uh, before the air source heat pump went on it was about five pounds a day. So anyway, you can easily go out and spend five pounds every day on something else, can you? Right. So that's it. I've got an air source heat pump for this coming season, and uh, see how we do with that. Never, I've never even heated it before in 33 years or whatever it is. Never had a link heat in it before, but you know, might have better results now. But that's good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much if you've got through it to this this far. Uh, if you have and, and you like my content please do consider subscribing it's a, it's a thrill when you get another subscriber and uh, it doesn't cost cost anything to subscribe so please do subscribe I very much enjoy your comments and uh, like and share away Anyway, next Tuesday, I'm going to the Rocket Boys again to Dave's. And, uh, yeah, 
that's gonna move on a bit and uh, he's gonna be a very happy chappy after next Tuesday I think lovely bloke um, if you don't know him uh, it's Dave Sexton and uh, his uh, channel is Koi Karma. Dave at Koi Karma does a lot of voluntary work at New Forest Koi. So that's it from me. Thank you all very much, and it's bye for now. <laughs>